there's a lot of AMC YouTubers that I hate, you know, such as Finance News, such as New York Angelo, <laughs> New York Gigolo, you know, there's a lot of them, okay? And the reason why I hate them is because a lot of their videos are clickbait. They'll say something outrageous because they want your view. They'll say something, it could be something nuts. They'll say, you know, a UFO, you know, is coming down from space. It enters Earth's at atmosphere and it has big, gigantic red letters flashing AMC to Pluto. So that's it. That's the catalyst. <laughs> AMC to $100,000 a share, whatever. They'll say anything in order to get your view. But the thing is, I'm going to say something that's probably going to upset a lot of people. If they have a disclaimer, which I believe Finance News does, I, I believe because I've watched him a few times and I believe he says on, on his channel, this is not financial advice. I am not a financial planner. This is entertainment purposes only. I've seen that on his channel. Not sure about New York Angelo. I really don't watch him that much because I can't understand him. He sounds like he's from Brighton Beach. I can't <laughs> understand anything he's saying. But I don't really watch him too much. But with the with the exception of just, you know, kind of making fun of him. <laughs> You know what I mean? Because I find it humorous. Again, I'm an entertainer. I'm a comedian. It's funny. It's supposed to be a joke. Just a joke. Not racist. So that's another thing. People really like have to understand. There's a difference between joking with someone and being racist. Like what I do with B. Hayes, okay? When I go like, she's your queen to be. I'm not racist. It's funny. It's funny. I'm taking a song that was in the movie Coming to America, and I'm just making a joke. It's a joke. Everyone's like, oh, you're racist. You're, I'm not racist. I hate everyone equally, okay? <laughs> I That's it. I don't discriminate, you know, I regulate, whatever. But anyway, you know, if someone has a disclaimer, you could call them clickbait. You could say I hate them. You could say they're a piece of garbage. But they're not breaking any laws. That, see, that's the key. That's the key takeaway. So you're the idiot. You're the Mameluke. You're the Stunad. If you keep watching these morons, that's the thing. If you keep clicking, which a lot of people are watching that fool, Finance News. They're watching him. They're watching the AMC to $20 and the next AMC to $20,000, right? Then AMC to $100,000. Then AMC, like New York Angelo. New York Angelo, AMC to $40,000. AMC to $50,000. Then I'll make another video. AMC under five, $5. It's over. It's over. They just did this. You know, they, it's, it's all nonsense. But if they have a disclaimer, they can say whatever they want. Because then they're saying to you, in essence, don't take me seriously. I'm just an entertainer. So, in other words, it's the same concept with a casino. You know, you go to a casino, you know what it says? Entertainment purposes only. I never really realized this before. Because, you know, a lot of people go to casinos thinking they're going to win. But that that disclaimer they have is so huge. And it can get them out of so much legal trouble, you have no idea. Because the casino is basically telling you, you're not going to win. That's what they're saying to you. You're coming here to lose money. <laughs> you're coming here to give your money to us. And in exchange, you're going to have entertainment. You're going to have a lot of fun. We'll provide you whatever, with a room. You could go out, you know, to a nice dinner on us. You could go whatever you want. Go swim in the pool. Right? <laughs> go have a drink on us. Have a drink on me. It's on the house. It's on the house. Just make sure you gamble and make sure you lose all your money. Because at the end of the day, it's entertainment purposes only. You see what I'm trying to say? So that's why you can't hold anyone financially accountable or responsible when they have a disclaimer. You can't, you can't sue Finance News if he's saying he's not a financial advisor. If he's saying, I don't give financial advice, I'm an entertainer, and you lose all your money, you can't go back and point your finger at him and say, you're the bad guy. Because he was very clear. Just like the eight followers always been clear. I've always been clear. Does that mean that I don't believe in AMC? Of course. I, I put 185000 of my own money. It, it, plus, I bought a lot more. That was just the beginning. Since then, I bought more. But of course, I believe I'm an investor. I'm a retail investor and I'm an entertainer. See, there's a difference. I'm a retail investor and an entertainer. Some people are not investors. I'm not going to go there with, with certain people. Some people are not investors. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? They're just entertainers. But they don't even say they're entertainers. 
they just they they act like they got this inside track on everything. So anyway, just wanted to clear that up. The difference between people who have disclaimers and who don't.